so let's start creating threads there are two ways to create a thread first one is subclassing the thread class and instantiating a new object of that class second implementing the runnable interface in both case run method should be implemented remember that the first one is subclassing the thread class and instantiating a new object of that class let's understand this package thread class my class is which extend the thread class public void run let me complete this code We have to go through the step by step of the things we don't understand like thread dot current thread dot get id method thread dot sleep like that stuff. Let's start. Start method. We need to use start method. We don't need run method. Why? If we use run method, it will run like a normal program and there will be no thread running. If we call the start method on my class object, extend from thread class is going to create a thread class and then it's going to create a thread and then it's going to call run method automatically. So we need use start method, not run method. In that case, our output will be value 0, 1 and it goes to 9. So our next question will be how to know the thread is actually running. In the same code, we have to add second instance of my class and run it just like that. My class my class one is equal to new my class my class one dot start. So, so what would happen in that case output will be this and we know that they are running concurrently to print the numbers. Our next question will be how to know which thread is calling which value. So in order to know that there is a function in thread class we use in system.out.println class is thread.currentthread.getid method to know which thread is running or which thread is printing which value. In that case output will be thread number it's 10 value 0 just like that and thread number it's defined by the CPU 10 11 whatever they are given To check further these thread can run in concurrency so we use a method called thread dot slip taken as an argument in milliseconds surround with the try catch statement in that case output will be like that and in this way we know that they are running in concurrency